Well, you guys got another video on what to do after installing Windows 11 if you're one of those people that doesn't like telemetry and you've got privacy concerns and you don't like all the bloatware inside your system or you just don't want to go through and have to turn off a bunch of settings manually. This video is for you because I'll show you a really cool script that you can use to do a lot of this if you're into that sort of thing. This video has been sponsored by CD Key Sales your one-stop shop for all of your gaming needs and also all of your office software and Windows software. If you need any of those, then check out the links in the video description. They will take you to the site and then you can create yourself an account. Once you create yourself an account, you can choose whether you want to buy yourself a Windows 11 Pro OEM key or Windows 10 Pro OEM key or any other products on their website. Once you've done that, you can use my promo code capital B capital R 9 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you've done that, submit your order. They will then send you your key and you can activate your version of Windows just like you see right here on the screen. So if you're a gamer or if you just don't like all of the bloat inside Windows 11, then this video is definitely for you because this also will allow you to remove Windows Defender if you want to and also remove Edge. Now, I know some people do like to go extreme and remove a lot of these things. I'm not suggesting you do remove Windows Defender or Edge, but if you are one of those people that like to do that, then this video is definitely for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do first. So first I would suggest you need to download a browser because if you are gonna be removing Edge, then you'll definitely need a browser. I'm just gonna use Google Chrome here but you can use whatever browser you like in replacement of Edge if you are going to be removing it. You don't have to, but if you are going to be removing it, you're going to need to put a browser on before you remove it because you'll have no browser to browse the web on that uh, operating system once Edge has been removed from the system. Okay, so I've got Google Chrome installed on the system. The next thing I want to do is create a system restore point just in case you need to go back. It does have a revert inside of this script, but it's always good to make a system restore point and back up your data before you do anything like this. So what we're gonna do here is turn on system restore and we'll create a brand new system restore point. 5% should be enough. So click apply, click okay. And then what we need to do here is create a restore point. You can call it before tweaks or whatever you wanna call it. And then we can click on create and this will then go ahead and create a restore point for us. So let's take a look at the script we're going to be using. It's on uh, GitHub and I'll leave a link in the video description for it. And as you can see here, they do have a domain name and they also have their link on GitHub, as you can see right here. It's broken down into sections so you can choose what you want to uh, remove on your computer and leave the rest. You can also revert it as well if you want to do it with this particular script. It is quite a powerful script. It also is open source, so you can actually see all of the code and what it's actually doing on here. Now, with all of these scripts, they do get flagged by Windows Defender because Microsoft are trying to deter people from using these particular types of scripts to de-bloat Windows because they don't want you to do it. But if you do want to do it, then you will need to put an exclusion in your antivirus like Windows Defender to allow it to run on the system. So you can see right here, we're going to click on latest and download the very latest version of this particular uh, program. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to go ahead and click on the one for executable here. You can see it right here. Now, Windows Defender doesn't block it from being downloaded, which is a good thing, because sometimes Microsoft do try to block these from being downloaded. So I'll try and be as clear as possible and show you what happens when you do try to run this script uh, on the system you might get something looking like this where it gets blocked and that's because Windows Defender is trying to block all scripts from being run on that system and it's pretty normal and some people then will jump in the comment section and start saying oh it's full of viruses Windows Defender's blocking it it's not that case it's a, a simple case of false positive and you will need to follow the steps on the screen it tells you a couple of things you can do to avoid seeing these errors so the best thing to do is either turn off Windows Defender altogether while you're running it, or you can put some sort of uh, exclusion inside the settings, which is what I'm going to do here, and plus I'll turn it off as well. Now you can save these batch files. I'll try to save the batch file because you can actually save 
your selection into a batch file. It even lets you do that as well. So you can actually see the code and you can see that it's not malicious. So if you know anything about that sort of stuff, you can go through here and take a look. There's no malicious stuff in here. So what we're going to do is open up Windows Security here and open up the Windows Defender application. And we're going to go to, to this area where it says real-time protection. Right down the bottom here, it says exclusions. And you can add and remove exclusions here. So let's go ahead and add an exclusion. So before I do that, let me make sure that we have show hidden files, folders, and drives. So I'm going to go to the three dots in Explorer here. Go view and show hidden files, folders, and drives. And remove the check mark from hide extensions. So once we've done that, we can go back to our... Uh, Windows Defender, add exclusion, go folder, and you need to navigate to this location here. So go to this PC, C drive, and then go to users and choose your user account. Mine's admin. Then you need to go to app data and then go to roaming. Inside here, you'll see the actual script here. Click on it and then look for runs. Then select the folder and it should now give us an exclusion for that particular application. I'm also going to go one more step here and turn off the actual antivirus itself, real-time protection here to stop it from flagging while we're doing the debloating process. So now that's done, let's go and have a look here. So we can save the batch file here of the selection that you've made. And that's a really cool feature, I think, if you want to create batch files with the selections that you've got here. And all you need to do is save it and it will then go into your download section and you can save them right here. And I'll quickly edit this so you can see inside. It shows you all the code and there's no malicious code in here. It's just code to uh, debloat stuff. And you can see here, uh, this is just for this particular one. I'm not going to show you all of these because there's quite a few of them and you can select what you like and then you can look at it afterwards. So that's how you can create the batch files yourself using this application. So we'll go back to the actual app itself and you need to right click on it and run it as administrator. Say yes to the user account control and this will open up the app one more time here. From here, we're going to start off with disabling the OS data collection, which is your telemetry. So click on this one right here and you can see it's broken down really nicely. You can check mark what you want to disable and remove just like so and this will then go off and start to do that for us. Be careful to make sure to read uh, the description here as well. And you can also revert it once it's been done and you can see the code changing. So you can revert these selections here. It's got disable recall. And if you click on the little exclamation mark here, it will tell you exactly what this particular uh, switch is going to do when you turn it on to disable and it will give you all the information you need. So I'm just going to go through here and check mark these and we can then go ahead and remove them now there is a select all up the top to select all of these rather than doing it one at a time but i advise you to go through here with a fine tooth comb and basically have a look at what you're check marking once you've done that you can click start and it will go ahead and start to remove and disable all of the features that you've check marked now the good thing about this script is it's showing you exactly what it's actually doing on the screen here in the code on the right hand side here and you can see this is all open source and you can see what changes are being made and they can be reverted so bear that in mind it's a really good feature to be able to revert your changes as long as you remember what programs you use to turn off the telemetry debloat the system and all the other stuff you have to do with Windows 11, unfortunately. And you can see it's just churning away and making a bunch of changes to the system. And there's quite a lot going on. And this is just goes to show you the lengths that you have to go to to be able to turn off all of this stuff on a Windows 11 system. So that's the disable OS data collection part. Let's take a look at another one. We've got configure programs here that we can take a look at. So let's click on this. And you can see there's also some stuff here that says disable NVIDIA telemetry and also configure browsers. That's going to do a bunch of stuff there. Also disable media player data telemetry and also some other bits and pieces inside here. You can go through this yourselves. I'm not going to go through every single thing here, but you've got uh, disable Visual Studio data collection and also disable uh, Visual Studio code data collection as well i mean it goes really in depth there's a lot of stuff on here that it's actually doing on the system 
So let's go ahead and I'll quickly run this one here and we will start to disable a lot of this stuff as well. Okay, so let's now continue and do another one. So what we're going to do here is going to go back up and we're going to have a little look to see what else we can do. So let's go ahead and take a look at the remove bloatware. So the remove bloatware is going to be removing Windows apps, remove OneDrive, remove Edge. Now, like I said before, you don't have to remove Edge, but if you do, there is a feature on here that will allow you to remove Edge as well. This, uh, disable the built-in Windows features and also remove on-demand uh, capabilities and features, remove widgets, remove Copilot. There's all sorts of stuff inside here. So you can check mark what you like. Make sure you read all the information before you run it. Once you run it, it's going to go ahead and start to remove all of that stuff you selected to be disabled or removed. Okay, so that took quite a bit of time. So let's go ahead and do advanced settings here. Here you can do some advanced settings. And then you've also got some privacy over security. So depending on whether you want to remove, disable uh, Microsoft Defender and Windows updates, you can do. I wouldn't advise you to do this, but if you do want to do it, this is basically how you can do it. I will do it in this video because I want to show you what it actually does when you run it. So you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So let's go ahead and I'm going to check mark this sort of stuff. You can see remove Windows security app. Again, this breaks Windows security user interface. So I'm going to leave these check marked here. But again, if you don't want to remove it, then don't. But you will need to replace it with another antivirus if you do remove it because running a system without an antivirus is a bit stupid. So let's go ahead and run this and remove it. Now, you ain't going to see all the benefits until we restart the system. So that's now done. And what we'll do is we'll move on to block tracking hosts here. You can do that right here. So you can check mark these and it will go ahead and add these to the OS file, which is very useful. And uh, you can see here all of your uh, areas like you want to be concerned with, like for instance, telemetry and things like that, that Microsoft use, you can uh, check mark those. Again, security documents and also privacy cleanup. Let's quickly do some privacy cleanup here and we can then finish off this video, restart it and take a look at what it's actually done. So I'm going to go ahead and check mark a lot of this stuff here and we can then go ahead and run the script to do what we need to do. Now, just to be clear here, I always get people in the comments section saying uh, one minute you're saying do this and the next minute you're saying do that in your videos. This is a tutorial on how to do things. I don't suggest you do anything. It's all about whether you want to do it or whether you don't. So don't put words in my mouth. When I say you can either do this if you want to to your system, you can do it. It doesn't mean I'm saying do it. It just means I'm showing you how to do it. It's that simple. It's a tutorial. That's what we do on this channel. So anyway, let's restart the system and we can go back and take a look at the changes. So once we've done this, I'm pretty sure that it's done a pretty hefty job at removing a lot of that bloat, but to remove a uh, Windows Defender and also Edge, I can already see Edge is gone. And I did a search for Edge and it, it doesn't show up. It's completely gone. Now there's some bits on here that can be removed manually yourself. Again, like uh, let's go ahead and just do uh, some of these here. So there's a couple of little apps that have been missed. Probably just needs a little update to the script and it will remove this stuff. Again, a lot of this stuff is just not really a too much of a problem they're not even installed really they're just sitting there waiting to be clicked on to be installed again you can uninstall this stuff here if you wanted to and that's pretty clean that's good enough for most people you can uninstall this as well and that's it so there we go that is what the uh the actual apps area looks like and you can make some other changes to that if you want to let's go ahead and take a look at the settings here and we'll have a look at the privacy and security. And again, when you click on these areas here, they have been changed for policies, saying managed by your organization. And again, a lot of this stuff has now been turned off, as you can see here. So pretty useful. Now, on Windows security, you will see that it has been removed. When you click on this, you just get a white page and it's completely gone and there's nothing else left there. Again, if you wanted to click on, say, for instance, any of this other stuff, it has been removed or disabled. 
Let's have a quick look at Windows updates. Again, I wouldn't advise doing it, but you can see it's completely ripped out the Windows updates here, which isn't advisable. And again, you do need to receive security updates as well on the system, but you can see it's completely gone on there. The notifications bit, it just shuts it down because it's been removed. So it is quite an aggressive script at removing stuff if you select them. So bear that in mind. If you don't want to go that hardcore with it, then you just leave those bits alone. But again, if you do check mark everything, it's going to completely remove, like I showed you there, Windows Defender, Edge, and Windows Updates. It's going to be a bit more extreme on those settings when you do them. Now, to tidy up a little bit, you can just go into here and make a few little changes here just to finish off and remove chat and also remove the task view. And you can even, uh, you know, put it in dark mode, dark theme mode, and you should be pretty much good to go. So if you're one of those people that want a super lightweight, uh, debloated version of Windows and you don't want to reinstall Windows and you want to do it from uh, your actual desktop, here you can use something like this to do it again it is pretty aggressive on some of these things like removing edge and windows defender and windows update so if you want to skip those ones you can do by just not check marking them and not running them on the system other than that if you do check mark them they will be removed and you will end up with what i showed you in this video anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think of this particular script, and I'll be happy to read your comments. Have a lovely day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.